Alright everyone, welcome back again to some more of Trails of Cold Steel. So as of this video, we finally completed chapter 4 at long last. This honestly felt like the longest chapter in my opinion. Uh, but we made it and a lot happened. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but you'll enjoy it, that's for certain. But if anything else, we're going to continue on and let's get to it. Alright everyone, welcome back again. We finally took care of uh, the first two Sharkodiles and we have to go and get uh, Princess Alf Princess Alfin and uh, our sister back. Is this one of the passages beneath the city? Looks like it and judging by the direction it leads, I don't think it's an area we've been to before. I don't sense any traps. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. It's me, Sarah. The governor told me about what happened. Give me a full update on the situation. Our targets are Gideon and two other armed terrorists. They've abducted Princess Alfin and Elise, and we're pursuing them through an underground tunnel as we speak. We're doing all we can to catch up with them. Understood. I'm making my way there as fast as I can, and I've got the RMP in tow. Keep up your pursuit. Try to stall them until we get there if you can. But don't do anything that would put the hostages in danger. Their safety is our top priority. Got it. Alright, let's hurry. Right, we won't let them get away. We'll be arriving in 10 minutes. Until then, all we can do is hope that they can pursue the terrorists on their own. I hate to admit it, but I doubt there's anything else we can do right now. I'm glad to see the RMP living up to their sterling reputation though. It sounds like you guys handled the attacks at the racetrack and the cathedral like seasoned pros. Well, none of the Imperial Guardsmen were stationed in those areas. And we did receive invaluable assistance from Group B. You could just accept a compliment when it's given, you know. So, how much of an idea did you have that the terrorist's real target was going to be the Garden Party? I'll bet you had more than just a hunch with the orbital calculator you've got for a brain. Right, Miss Icy Maiden? I estimated the chances at roughly 40%. Targeting the Garden Party would make the biggest spectacle after all. I believe their aim is to harm the reformist's public image, which means Her Highness should be safe. Unfortunately, I can't be so certain about the girl with her. Hmm. And that's why we'll probably never see eye to eye. Ah, so she's too logical in her thinking. She doesn't really care mainly about, um... I don't want to say the less than important people because the least is important and civilians are always, at least from their point of view, their lives are always just as important. It's just that right now she sees things from, uh... <clears throat> those damn terrorists! Elise, Princess Alphen, please be safe! Claire sees things from a more logical standpoint. Almost, almost too methodical and too... Inhuman in a way. Oh, we got minor enemies to score off against too. Alright, that's good because it gives me a chance to build up some CP that I lost for... Monsters! No problem. We'll just cut our way through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that we lost from Fee. Come on, turn around. Turn around, it's okay. Don't you want to turn around? There you go, that took a while. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. My turn. Yes. Go. Right, let's bring it up. All right, let's do this. Give it to me. Good job. <laughs> bring it up. Bring it up. How'd you miss? Right. Why would you miss? I'll handle it. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, that's why I wanted the most. Okay, well, if that's the case, we'll flash grenade all of you. Here. <laughs> Scare that. My turn. Ta ooh. Take him down. These two are paralyzed. Go. See the heavy damage she's Oh, just kill this one then. I'll handle it. CP lock. No, what happened? Oh, element. Why? She just earned a lot too. Here we go! 
That's heartbreaking. All right, let's keep going. That was so short-lived. All right. Ah, none of them learned anything new. I was hoping they would. All right, who else? Okay, we got one more enemy. We need to build some CP. Another bat. Nope, 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 nope. Turn around. There you go. Ha! Darn it. There you go. Now's our chance. We can do this. Here we go. All right. One more of this. All right. Let's do this. Give it to me. I'll handle it. She got healed. That's great. Nope, nope, nope. We got to build it again. My turn. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I can't believe that happened. Right. I'll handle it. I need her CP to go up. Right. Good job. Oh, vanish. Yes. All right, let's keep going. I think we're almost there now. Where are we? The catacombs. That's gonna build us some cardio. It's really creepy. I had no idea a place like this existed beneath the capital. It appears to be a catacomb built during the Dark Ages. Well, they definitely came this way. I don't think it was that long ago. Oh, right. You can tell from their footprints. Okay, then. We just need to keep heading this way. Follow me. Right. Ready to go. Onward. Heh. <laughs> Everything's proceeding just as I planned. If we can make it out of these tunnels, we will have achieved all we set out to accomplish here. Alright. Not bad for our first mission. What are you people planning? What do you hope to accomplish by abducting us? It doesn't appear that you're interested in trying to ransom me back to my father for money. I ask that you remain patient for just a short while longer, your highness. We are but humble patriots who respect and honor the traditions and values of our country. We would never do anything to bring harm to one of the bloodlines that symbolizes that very nation. You sound just like... Haha, <laughs> don't misunderstand me. We feel no sense of brotherhood with this aristocracy. The vast majority among us are of common birth, myself included. However, there is a certain man among you whom I'm afraid we simply cannot allow to remain alive. What do you mean? If that's what you want, then let her highness go. If you need a hostage, you can injure. I should be enough. Elise! Oh. What is your name, little one? Serving as Her Highness's attendant, I assume you must be of high social standing, no? Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Theo Schwarzer, Lord of the Northern Region of Ymir. I may not be a particularly high rank, but I am still of noble birth. If you need a hostage, use me instead. Elise! Aha! Well, aren't you a fascinating young lady? We seem to have picked up quite the unexpected gambit. Now, how shall we use it? Alright, let me super save for a minute because in the off chance I die, I don't want to repeat all that again. Man, I'm still miffed I lost all that CP for fee. Almost, did not notice that chest. Is there anything else here? No? Just the one? Okay. Catacombs, here a we come. Thank goodness I did say. Bring it on! Right! That's bananas. Okay, resounding beat go. Give it up, everyone! My turn. Alright, let's do 
Oh, that's... Uh, I want to test it at the same time. Nope, I gotta build it. <laughs> I just realized I don't have enough. Build it. Here we go. I probably should have separated them further, but okay, whatever. What of it? All right, let's do this. Yeah, understood. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm that hits hard. Everyone. Right. All right. Well, we gotta get a little desperate then. Very well. Behold, my most powerful strike. Radiant Blade Dance! Okay. Gotta respect that instant kill. My turn. Hmm. All right, so now let me. Revive my bro. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. And then. Flash grenade this Here. fool. My turn. All right. So now we're going to we're going to limit this guy's turn if we can. There. Now's our chance. Yes. Finish An him opening. off. Of course. Huh. There you go. Evil will fall before my blade. Not bad. <laughs> I did it. Ah, <sighs> that was scary. There seems to be some strange force at work making things difficult for us during the fight. The way they appear was weird too. It's like they were waiting to ambush us. Perhaps it was due to the man to that man, Gideon's power. Or rather, that flute he holds. Yeah, that flute seems to give off some potent vibes. I've heard that some powerful relics from antiquity are still around. I wonder if that's one of those artifacts. Well, we're gonna have to deal with it one way or another. Man, I'm so glad to have uh, Laura on our side. Alright, rest. We got super safe again. I've been a little too self-reliant on the CP here instead of using arts, but at the same time, the, di the problem with arts in this version of, our, uh, of this JRPG is that it actually takes time, casting time, and there are some uh, quarts that can limit it. It's just I don't want to use them right now, at least not for these particular characters. It depends on which character though, and I should use it. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. I might just do that. I gotta open that. Uh, her in particular, maybe I should. Should I give? I should give it to him though. Tiaro. Uh huh. I got hydro cannon already. You think I give it to her? All right. Well, you know what? For now, we're good. Let's save one more time. All right, let's go. There they are. I'll go on ahead. I'm going with her. I'll fire off some warning shots to stop them. I'm with you, Reen. All right, I'm counting on you. It's far enough. What? <laughs> Eat that. <laughs> Shit. What? 
you came for us! Show's over. Let Her Highness and Elise go. Now. Considering all that you've done, I can't say I'd be entirely comfortable letting you go free. But if you release them, we might be willing to consider it. Damn kids. <sighs> it's five against three. You've got no chance. And fleeing while trying to carry two hostages? I don't think that'll work out too well for you. So, would you please just let them go? <laughs> impressive. Very impressive. My boy Elliot said please, I think you should listen. I had no idea Thors was educating such gifted students. Save it. Look, we can keep this stalemate going all day, or you can release them. It's up to you. But I'm warning you, if there's so much as a scratch on either of them, you'll wish the police found you before I did. Uh, you. Rain. Rain. Very well. We surrender. I'm not so proud that I can't see when we have no chance of victory. Then... So you'll let them go? Absolutely. If you can defeat him, that is. Do it. <sighs> and knock him out? Son of a... A volatile anesthetic? Fear not. I simply thought it best they sleep for a short while. After all, this is hardly a sight fit for the eyes of such innocent maidens. Damn it! Another monster?! What the...? You know we had all that time to knock that flute out of his hands, by the way. The hell? This roar. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Lovely. Zoro Agruga. Dark Dragon of Ruination. What the hell is that? It's a... a... bone dragon? of the demonic flute, an artifact capable of holding even the shadow that reigned over Heimdall during the Dark Ages in its throne. Now, I'll have you delay your journey to perdition no longer. Farewell, dear ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. There's no way we can take on that thing. What are we gonna do? Uh, I can't estimate its strength. Or even the best way to fight it. Ha! Oh, damn, man. Yes. <clears throat> We're not just going to roll over and die here. If you think back on how much we've grown just during this field study, there's no way this thing is going to take us down. My blade is ready. Huh. Too impetuous to know when you're beaten, are you? Go, Dark Tyrant! Bring down the merciless hammer of judgment upon these hapless fools! Alright, gonna go all out on this one. A worthy adversary. My turn! Nah, he has nothing. Wait, wait. Not nothing, something. <sighs> right! You. Whoa. What? What on earth happened here? Oh, you don't have enough CP. I was about to say. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Grand Press. La Fortuna. ATS. 
bring it on to all of us. Uh, my turn. And then you. Here. That hit hard. Three thousand, nice. Okay. Go. All right. Unfortunately, I need to motivate. All right, let's do this. Yeah, got leave it. it to me. Okay. And then you, I need to. Hmm. I'm worried that. Ah, this is gonna suck. Okay, hold on. Uh. Here I go. Resist, really. I was careless. Of course. That's fine. We're gonna have to revive her. Thanks. And then we'll use Holy Song. On both of us, yep, all of us. Listen to my song of healing. Thanks. You have my thanks. Here we go. And then we go all out. Here we go. Flames, gather on my blade. Strike. Ah! Oh my gosh, I was hoping to do more. <laughs> That's actually not bad. My turn. All right. What of it? All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Leave yeah. it to me. Right. You go back to hydro cannon. Harkus, activate. I'll handle it. Right. Oh, she is so ready. Let's go. Go. Fall. We killed him. Yes. Your swordsmanship gets better with every battle. And I've got a way to go to get to your level. Woo. Nice. Come on. Yes. 42. Iron reached level 4. La crest, nice, beautiful. I did it. <laughs> Not bad. Success. No one learned anything. Ah. It impossible. Laura, V, Roger. <laughs> What? Uh, what? You damned! What? Yeah! Nice! No. The demonic flute. Let's check and mate. Oh, that was a tough one. What's our plan, Comrade G? <sighs> How did you let him get that close again? You had several occasions to stop him. You vile... Comrade G? I am fully prepared to lay down my life for our cause. It is not death, I fear. But this operation is too important to leave even a corpse behind. I'm afraid I must do what needs to be done. Even if that means harming a member of the Imperial family. <laughs> I think it's about time we came out to play.
What the? Who are? Oh my, aren't you a quick little kitty? <laughs> Just my type. Who are you? <laughs> That's the Sylphid I know. <sighs> Comrade S? Comrade V? Oh, you came for us. Oh, what a relief. Now we can... These must be... We're terrorists! <laughs> I seem to recall specifically telling you to leave this operation to me. But I can't say I'm unhappy you decided to check in. Sorry, boss. But if you got yourself caught here, we would have been off to a pretty bad start. <laughs> I do apologize for cutting in, but we figured it was for the best. Comrade C decided to join us, too. And so I have. The Black Ranger? Uh, a mask. <laughs> Comrade C, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Did my planning for this operation seem that flawed to you? On the contrary, it was almost perfect. But no plan is completely foolproof. One must always factor in unpredictable elements. As the ladies and gentlemen of Class 7 here have demonstrated so brilliantly. <sighs> How does he know who we are? Who are you? We have already fulfilled our primary objective. Courting dishonor by harming a member of the Imperial family would gain us nothing now. Do you not agree? No, you're right. Release them. Understood. Right. <sighs> Elliot, Machius, I'm leaving the two of them to you. Okay. Got it. There, a gesture of goodwill, in the hopes that we may yet resolve this without bloodshed. What say you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7? Will you stand aside and let us leave peacefully? Like hell we will. You abducted the Imperial Princess and an innocent girl. Drugged them. What Erebonian would stand idly by in the face of such an outrage? It's five against six. This won't be easy. Uh, guys... <laughs> you got guts, kids. I'll give you that. <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't mind a little rough housing. No. It's only right that I be the one to test their mettle. Wielders of the Longsword. The Great Sword. The Twin Gun Swords! Stand and face me. I shall be your opponent. <gasps> what? <laughs> Think of this as an entertaining way to kill some time. The Railway Military Police are already on their way. Until then, pour out the vessel of your wrath upon me. <sighs> Interesting. He's awful sure of himself. Is he serious? There's no way he can win against all three of them! <laughs> Whoa! What kind of weapon is that? A swallow. Another relic from the Dark Ages. A... I see. I am C. That is all you need to know. Now, come at me, if you think you're able. We've faced like several boss fights already. <laughs> then allow us to begin. I feel like this one's scripted to be unwinnable. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at My all turn. the damage he's already doing. Here. Blind you. 
miss. Here we go. Oh, that that left one though. All right, let's do this. Rocket. Understood. My turn. Armor break. Shatter. This dude's hitting me okay. hard. Hmm. Whoa, what? Oh my gosh. Here we go. Can we delay him? There. No, we can't. He resists. Go. Wait, what's his help? Okay. What the hell did I just see? Hold on. What? Eighty-two thousand. What on earth? Hold on a second. My turn. Hmm. I was careless. That's our C for you. Who? Can't deny he's got the brains and the brawn to lead. <sighs> what power? He might even be as strong as Sarah. Just who are you people? <laughs> From today, you shall know us as the Imperial Liberation Front. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That is our cause, our purpose. The Imperial Liberation Front? W what dictator? Freeze, all of you! Instructor! Captain Claire! Just in time. It appears the time has come to make our exit. Huh? Is that... Farewell. I'm sure we'll meet again. What? A, a bomb? <laughs> See you around. Ta-ta for now, my little darlings. <laughs> Let's see you claw your way out of this grave. Is collapsing. Hurry! R right! Ah, I couldn't leave Juan up alone. Reen, you carry her highness. Got it. That was pretty touch and go back there, but I'm glad to see you all pulled through. Well, thanks to you, Instructor. I had my doubts we were going to make it out of that alive. You could have come a bit sooner. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, there's no way we'll be able to follow them now. Indeed. So, the Imperial Liberation Front, is it? Your Highness! Elise! Oh, thank goodness. Whatever drug they were given doesn't seem to have had any lasting effects. I feel like I've caused you all a lot of trouble, but thank you for rescuing me. I'm just glad that you're safe and unharmed. Uh, what happened? Are you alright, Your Highness? How are you feeling? Reen? Uh, I I'm fine. You should worry more about your sister. Looks like the Intelligence Division was right on the mark. We have a number of the routes back to the surface locked down. Think we could smoke them out? 
Personally, I doubt it. This tunnel system is incredibly expansive, with too many areas we know nothing about. Continue the search for a while longer, then focus on restoring order in the city. Yes, ma'am. I'll send a report to the other divisions and let them know the situation's been resolved. So, Imperial Liberation Front, what's your game? In the end, the railway military police brought the chaos under control, and the first day of the festival came to a close. Despite his injuries, Governor Regnitz kept on top of things, ensuring that the rest of the festival passed by peacefully. The next morning, it was time for us to leave the capital behind and make our way back to Trista. I really don't know how to begin thanking you. You've done so much for our family that I doubt we'll ever be able to repay you. Not at all, your highness. There's nothing to repay us for. We just did what we had to. Oh, come now, there's no need to be so modest. It scares me to think what might have happened if Elise and I had been taken away by those people. So I can't thank you all enough. Please allow me to extend my thanks for your help as well. I'm truly grateful. Elise. Oh, I'm just glad you're safe. Group B's efforts were a great help to Cedric and I as well. Thank you again for your assistance in restoring order to the city. I'm honored, Your Highness. <laughs> I'm so glad to have been of service. <laughs> just think of it as returning the favor for your help pushing to make Class 7 a reality. Still, now we've got the Imperial Liberation Front to worry about. Regrettably. There have been signs they were up to no good behind the scenes before now. That incident in Nord, for example. But now they finally stepped out of the shadows and announced themselves to the world. They appear to be insurgents in the truest sense of the word, led by several key figures. C being the most prominent. The Intelligence Division is doing its utmost to gather information about these leaders even as we speak. They struck me as rather... mysterious in some ways. Even though they abducted us, they rarely showed the kind of maliciousness one would expect from terrorists. It seemed more like they were in the grip of some kind of intense passion. True. Not that it excuses abducting your highness like they did. An intense passion, you say? It did seem that way. In our hearts, the flames of silent anger. In our hands, the hammer of judgment that shall topple the dictator. That's what their leaders said when they made their appearance. Indeed. <laughs> All the ham-handed theatrics of a middle school play. Yeah... You can tell how gleeful he must have been to say the flames of silent anger in front of an audience. Well, it's no mystery what they're referring to, at least. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't miss you. Wait, isn't that... Is he? Dad's with him, too. Glad you made it, Cedric! Huh. Just in time, too. Your Highness? Did you come all this way just to bid us farewell? Of course. After all you've done for us, I thought it was the least I could do. Ah, is this the rest of Class 7? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Cedric Ricey Arner. I wanted to thank you for coming to my sister's aid in her time of need. Allow me to extend to you my most heartfelt appreciation. You're too generous, Your Highness. Th the honor was ours. Thank you, Your Highness. This is the Crown Prince. He's pretty cute. Fee! <laughs> 
I certainly wouldn't mind if he took a few lessons in manliness from the gentleman of class seven, though. Uh, Alfin, come on. I think that's a little harsh, your highness. <laughs> well, you're still just 15. You have plenty of growing ahead of you. Still, it isn't often I see you keeping the Imperial Governor company. <laughs> I suppose that's true. I just happened to be here on business, so I thought I'd take the chance to say goodbye to everyone. How are you feeling? Are your injuries all right now? Yes, nothing too serious, fortunately. I'm still feeling it, but it shouldn't be too much longer before I'm back to my old self. That's good to hear. I'm glad to see you looking all hale and hearty, Your Excellency. Thank you. While no one could have foreseen how it ended, you did manage to complete this month's field study. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I'd like to congratulate you for your exemplary work. We're honored you'd say so. Thank you, Your Excellency. We three directors may have very different positions on many issues, including how Class 7 should be run. But for my part, I'd like you to enjoy student life however you choose. I think the other directors would agree with me on at least that much. Dad. I'm glad to hear you feel that way, Your Excellency. In that regard, you have nothing to worry about, Your Highness. <laughs> well, if you say so. I've always found you a trustworthy man, of course. But... Ah, I see that everyone's here. Oh, it couldn't be. <gasps> Chancellor Osborne! As a matter of fact, the Chancellor and I just came from an audience with His Majesty the Emperor. I'm overjoyed to see you safe and well, Princess Alfred. Clearly, the Goddess has bestowed her blessings upon us. Thank you, Chancellor. I'd also like to reassure Prince Oliver that we're starting a nationwide hunt for members of the Imperial Liberation Front. An investigation into the backgrounds of its members is also underway, so you needn't worry. My, my. Nothing gets past you, does it? Well, I suppose that means you have the security detail for next month's trade conference well in hand? Of course. I'll see to it that everything is taken care of. Ah, but where are my men? Please excuse me for not introducing myself. I'm Giliath Osborne, representative of the Erebonian government. <laughs> I almost read that as Goliath. Though I imagine those of you who read the papers may know me better as the Blood and Iron Chancellor. <gasps> uh, it's an honor to meet you, Your Excellency. Uh, um. Your reputation precedes you, Your Excellency. <laughs> I've heard much about the recent exploits of Thor's Class 7. Traveling across the Empire for first-hand learning with your field studies, it's quite a fascinating program. I hope you'll keep up the good work. We shall endeavor to. Thanks. I hope we'll live up to your expectations. Ah, yes. It's been quite some time, young Gracer. I'm glad to see your new career path is working out for you. Thank you, Chancellor. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for you. I really owe you for all you've done for me. <laughs> General Van Dyke was my superior back when I was in the army. As such, I'm planning on granting you a bit of additional assistance. I should have it ready for you in a few weeks' time. What are you... <clears throat> I have great expectations for you all. Nurture the bonds you share, and train up bodies and wills of steel. For I have no doubt you'll need them in the turbulent times to come. Oh. He reacted to the Chancellor.
That's that's interesting. And now we end chapter four, Midsummer's Revels. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. Rank up, nice. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Oh, good. We can give that one to uh, Laura or whomever else is on our team. Drinks are on me someday. Perfect. You oh. guys are the best. Oh, yes. That's what I was hoping for. S grade, baby. Class heaven's bond strengthened. Good. I was hoping for that. Nice. Definitely save, of course, of course. I found that rather interesting. So now we were introduced to the Liberation Front now, and I may have an idea as to who the Black Ranger character is. I'm calling him Black Ranger. I'm not calling him C. He looks like a freaking Black Ranger with a cape. <laughs> But if anything else, guys, I'm going to have to end the video here for today. Thank you all for watching, and when we come back, we're going to continue on to Chapter 5 at long last.